A bridge project over Bray's Bayou could offer some relief from future flooding, but nearby homeowners don't exactly like the way the county is going about it. Levi Ismail is near the Ardmore Bridge near Highway 288 tonight. Uh, Levi, it sounds like a good idea, so what's the problem here? Well, the goal is to raise this bridge to keep it from essentially being a dam like it was during Hurricane Harvey. Now, the major sticking point is where will all this traffic go once this bridge is under construction? Neighbors requested this meeting and say they wanted to brainstorm with the Harris County Flood Control District on what changes could be made. Instead, they got a plan they say seem more like you take it or leave it. Replacing the bridge is supposed to begin in mid-July, and during that time, North and South McGregor Street from Ardmore to 288 will be one way. Some neighbors say why not make the entire length of McGregor two-way and ease what they anticipate being a nightmare of congestion. We ask, could you make us two ways during construction, just temporarily, even if you just do it to 288, because this is a busy artery that we use. They told us they can't do that. That's a matter of yellow paint and some and some traffic cones. Other neighbors worry there aren't enough ways to detour around the construction, which could last a year. Flood control tells us they admit they rushed the construction process by not including the community early on, but say timing is everything for the complete overhaul of all the bridges along Bray's Bayou. 16 bridges, 100% paid by the federal government, and that money does have a deadline on when it has to be spent by. So we have to meet that deadline. So what we're gonna do, and I'm sure we'll be meeting with City of Houston officials immediately, see what can be done on accommodating two-way traffic. Now to make some of those changes that the neighbors have requested, including some of those traffic changes, the city tells us it could require about six to $20 million. And that's money that would be coming from the city at this point. Now we did hear from some of the council members who said that they will be going back to the city tomorrow to try and request this money at, at the very least a few million dollars to try and make these changes for the neighbors here and their requests. Guys, back to you. All right, we'll pick it up from here. Levi, thank you.